It's Spotlight Saturdays, and today we are going to be checking out a Kali Champion Spotlight from League of Legends. Well, hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Kat, and welcome back to Spotlight Saturdays. A day where we sit back, we relax, and we talk all about our wonderful League of Legends champions. My TV is over there, so I'm kind of pointing over there. So today, at Spotlight Saturdays, you know, grab your snacks, get comfortable, and let's get reacting, discussing all about Akali. And hopefully I'm saying their name right. So it's a Kali Champion Spotlight, which this is a four minute and 47 second video, which is long. So you best be getting your snacks. You best be getting, you know, chillax and, and let's get reacting to our wonderful champ, Akali. And the reason I'm doing this is to be able to support all the champions of League of Legends on the channel, to learn about them, and to also help out with our League of Legends series, League of Legends Champion Tales, where we go into the League of Legends website, check out all their stories, react to it, read aloud to it, learn all about the champs, and support them for what they are. Awesome. That's what they are. So let's get started, shall we? League of Legends, Akali Champion Spotlight. This is Akali, the rogue I was right. assassin. Once yes. the most promising acolyte of her order, Akali is now a restless fighter of unsurpassed skill who believes Whoa. that sometimes balance needs a good shove. The old ways just don't work. This highly mobile assassin prefers a hit and run approach, nice. repeatedly striking her targets as she weaves in and out of cover. I wouldn't want to be messing with Akali if, you know, you're, you're on the street somewhere, you get Wendy's and suddenly this BAM! This assassin just comes out of you and you're just like, hey, please be my friend. Here, you can have my, you can have my, uh, 4 for 4 Here's a burger, here, here's a, here's a, here's some fries, here's my lemonade, and I'm keeping the chicken for myself. That's right, but the thing is, I wouldn't want to run into a Kali on the streets, because that would be really bad for everybody, because, uh, Somebody here is an assassin, and a trained one to be exact. Welcome to the Akali Champion Spotlight. Ooh. Well, of course. I, I, I thank you for welcoming me. Oh, abilities! Let's see what she got. Akali's Ooh. passive is Assassin's Mark. Ooh. Damaging a champion with an ability creates a ring around them. Crossing the ring's edge empowers her comma, which increases the range and damage of Akali's next attack. Whoa, that's cool. The attack also restores a small amount of energy. Nice. When the ring first forms, Akali gains a burst of movement speed toward its edge. Once she crosses the edge of the ring, Akali gains another burst of speed when moving toward enemy champions. Huh. Akali's Q is five point strike. Whoa, look at this, these cap. I love this Akali gameplay. What the heck? A narrow arc, damaging Ooh. enemies. Those struck at maximum range are also slow. Ooh. Bad time to come back to the front lines, Swain. Well, somebody's a little sassy, ain't she? Well, that's nice to know. My God, I like that voice too. That was cool. But yeah, she got that level of confidence. You want some confidence? Be on the level of Akali. Cast at nearly full energy, Akali heals if she hits an enemy. Her energy bar will change color when the heal is available. Good to know. Akali's that's very helpful. Is Twilight Shroud. Akali drops a smoke bomb, which slowly spreads oh my God, that's the so cool. area. While on the smoke, Akali has what? increased movement speed and is obscure. That's obscure so cool. Obscure is different than just invisibility. Though her okay, position yeah, can be revealed, Akali cannot be directly they can't targeted see by you. her enemies. But you could see you. That's cool. I like that. This includes attacks from turrets. Ooh. <laughs> That laugh, my good, the level of salt there. That's kind of like the, the moment where you're just like, you don't want to mess with her if you hear that type of laugh. Ooh, that's nice. Gaining or losing Obscured slightly extends the duration of Twilight Shroud each time. Strike from stealth before dipping back into smoke to keep it cloudy a little longer. Good to know. Also, casting W like those instantly guys right restores there. energy. Consider <laughs> activating Twilight Shroud not just for the stealth, but to use more of your other abilities. Oh. Akali's E is Shuriken Flip. Ooh, ooh, ooh! A Girl! Flips and throws a shuriken forward, damaging and marking the first enemy hit. Ooh. 
Akali can react like, to the shuriken flip to dash the opponent's target, following them wherever they go. Oh, that is convenient, but if you were reversing her, that would be good. Shroud, tagging the last area of the smoke screen hit and allowing her to dash back to safety. Ooh. Akali's ultimate is perfect execution. Akali dashes, damaging all enemies she comes across, and can cast her ult a second time with a cooldown Ooh. in between. The oh first my dash girl. deals physical damage and briefly stuns. The second dash deals magic damage and is increased based on the missing health of each enemy. My goodness! Akali's most powerful tool is her Twilight Shroud. Use the smoke screen guess. to reposition and avoid retaliation at the same time. My only question to this is, how is she defeatable? I mean, I know they all have their weaknesses and everything, but at the same time, my friends, um, how they like, with all the champs I'm noticing within these spotlights, they kind of like make them flex, you know, they flex it on what they got. So it's like, she seems unbeatable. I mean, with that Twilight Shroud, if I was going to be versing someone who's playing as a Kali, or if we're going to go into roleplay here, if someone was a Kali and I'm somebody else, that'd be pretty hard to beat her. I mean, maybe she's, obviously everyone has weaknesses, but... Dang, League of Legends, it's like, they don't want to pick a favorite. Like, it's like trying to try to pick out one of your favorite kids. This is this is hard for them to do. So like, oh, no, no, this is, they, they all could do this. They, Akali, you, you got some, you got some mighty fine goodness on you right now. You don't use the, the Twilight Shroud. Hey, nobody could stand a chance against you. But then if we have somebody like Niku or like, um, Nunu and Willump coming in, they're like, oh, no, no, you guys, you guys are perfect, too. You guys are so perfect, nobody could beat you. So I love how it's kind of like the League, the League, uh, like Riot Games themselves are kind of like the parents to these League children. That's, that means a lot to me, because I myself, Riot Games, so if you're listening, if you ever do watch here on this channel, which I hope you do one day, I myself adopt characters, love them so much. So this... T to hear you guys talk about them like you can't pick favorites, that means a lot to me. And strikes Rakan from undercover, then says, sure I can, and <laughs> dashes back into range to finish him. You're dead, I'm alive. See? Balance. you dead, I'm alive. Hey, th there's a balance there. What the? She's so, she's got that level of confidence. Again, you wanna be good, you wanna be great. You want to have the level of somebody amazing, just be like Akali the champ, yeah, yeah. Maybe Akali has a collie, you know, like a dog. Like maybe she has a collie that she walks around. Head cannon, am I right? Thanks to the obscuring effect of Twilight Shroud. When you start taking shots, just slip back into the smoke to drop out. That is so convenient. Oh. Smoke dump. It's tempting to use your W immediately when fighting foes, but think carefully about when and where to set off your smoke bomb. Okay. Your shroud can set up sneaky plays, but if you hightail it from your cloud cover, you've got nothing to There's so to much going on right now, these colors. This is my mind. Oh my god, she the died. The assassin has several ways to keep up with opponents. As long as you land the first part of Shuriken oh Flip, you can reactivate it to follow them anywhere. Then give them a high five point strike to slow Heck things down when they try to high flee. High five, man. Akali is all about moving in and out of range, which means sometimes taking a step back is the best way forward. Ooh. For maximum I'm burst, remember to constantly cross the assassin's mark range. So excited mark for this game. This is my mind. Swinging. This is literally my mind. All these colors. Like, this is how my mind thinks. Think oh, is that my boy? Is that is that oh, my boy Rockham is there? Movement to your repertoire. Because the dashes don't require ooh, a target, ooh. you can line up multiple stuns by passing through a this cluster of enemies. Literally Once you're in the thick mind. of the fight, you can bide your time There's under the cover of Twilight Shroud before using the second dash girl? and a flurry of cold steel to finish the execution. Oh. Psh, nothing personnel, kid. <laughs> I like the little jokes. For the Akali Champion Spotlight. Thank Start you. Down to the links below for more info on the Rogue Assassin. Yes, look at her. Look at her go. Yes, that's right. You show off. That's one thing I'm looking forward to, is like, their moves, yeah. Yeah, that's right, show off. Oh, she be going deaf, that's right. All right, guys, so welcome to our discussion that we have here on the channel, which is a heart to heart with me and you. And then we're gonna be talking about Akali and how awesome she is. But also, before I start, I just wanna say, League of Legends, like that is, if you're thinking about how my mind works, I'm a very, I'm a person that I'm all over the place, as you see how I'm crazy on camera, yes. But also, other than that, like, I'm all over the place, which means I think in colors. Sometimes I'm very unorganized, my mind, not, not in general. I mean, sometimes I can be, if we're gonna be honest, this is a heart-to-heart -heart moment, sometimes I can rather be very unorganized, but at the same time, I am not unorganized, it's, it's, it's complex. So, anyway, 
I'm also ADHD, which doesn't help, but <laughs> I go off on a tangent like right now. So, Akali in general, I love her design, as I do all of the League of Legends characters. That's not, that's a given. Like, I'm always gonna love their designs. If I don't like their design, I will pick it out. But she's an assassin, which kind of means that she has the type of the abilities that assassin would regularly have, which is, you know, using like the smoke screen or throwing things at people, taking those little swords and be like, but it gives people space in order to really like maybe love her type of character. Maybe some people would rather play as a character as, as like how Nico is, that doesn't use any type of sword. But some people prefer like, you know, little like little thingies to throw at people. I mean, it's, a, it's all what, it's down to personal preference. That's what I always say. Like if you're going to pick out a character in League, it always goes down to your preferences, your personal preference. And no two characters, no two people are gonna think the same about the same character, which again is why I'm glad I'm able to do League of Legends Champion Tales, so I can give my thoughts and discussion about a character while reading their stories, and also League of Legends Spotlight Saturdays, which again allows me to discuss the characters and also see their gameplay and everything, their skins, bada bing, bada boom, things like that. So, why I'm very intrigued with Akali is because the twilight, you know, how she runs around that. My question is, it's like, when you're playing with somebody who is who actually is a Kali and everything, and they're going around that shroud, you're gonna be very shocked to see that a lot of people will probably die from that. I myself would panic if I saw someone playing as a Kali, because not only could she do like this twilight, but she could literally stalk her enemies. You know, if someone's here, she could be like, oh, I'm gonna go full follow you right now, and then bam, they're gone. So. Again, I love how League of Legends treats all their characters as if they are their own children. Because with me, in general, I do adopt characters. So, with to see them say like, oh, they're good, they're perfect, and then when they move on to the next one, they're like, oh, they're perfect too. Like, they also, also, they also say like, they're flaws and everything, but... I don't know if I would play as a Kali, to be honest, because I usually go for more of the characters that are very colorful or quirky, or, in general, just have some kind of like... Very relatable backstory, so I have to learn more about her backstory before I'm, I'm to say like, oh, I would definitely like main as her. But also I have to try out all the characters, which is something you can expect here on the channel. But because we're, if you don't, if you don't already, follow us on Twitch because we're gonna do a lot of fun Twitch things and streams when it comes to League. <laughs> Go follow right now. But her design is very cool. I like um, the dance moves that they do. Do all the League characters have their own special moves? But I really do. I very. I was very much intrigued by the uh, the smoke screen and everything. Cause I, you think of assassins, you think of like a ninja, not the streamer ninja, but you get what I'm saying. You think of a ninja, you think of an assassin, you think what her abilities are very great with stealth. So to have that ability within the the place that you do fight within, and you have the ability of the smoke screen and everything else, that freaks me out. Because if I'm playing against somebody who's playing as a Kali, I'm like, yeah, I'm down. It's all, it's all over for me. It's all over for me. Everything is done. Nothing's gonna stay here. I'm out. I'm out of wits. I'm done. Because Akali, once I see that type of smoke screen and you're coming at me, girl, I ain't gonna be handling it. I ain't gonna be handling that. But I'm really enjoying to do this uh, Spotlight, League of Legends Spotlight Saturdays. You can expect to see a ton of reactions and discussions about each of the champs. Whoever has the spotlight on their uh, the League of Legends YouTube channel, be sure to also check that out as well. Because I want to, I want to be able to see what the gameplay is all about, see their skins, and really appreciate all the champs for what they stand for and what they mean to you guys. Why do you love Akali? This is a community. I would love to know if you do main as her, and also what do you love about her? Do you like her design? Do you like her abilities? Or do you not like her at all? It's up to you guys. I think she's very interesting. I myself wouldn't main as her yet because I have to still see what she's all about. But as of seeing this right now, obviously I will be the type of person to be running away from Akali's rather than playing as an Akali if that makes any sense. But anyway guys, don't forget to check out all the links in the description down below where you can check out and help support us on Patreon, keep the dream alive, help me do more content per week, help me be able to stream anytime sooner, help me be able just to have, in general, just be able to like, keep this as my career, cause tough, times are tough on YouTube, so there's other ways for creators to be able to keep creating content and what they do best. 
Yeah. But anyway, don't forget to check out Patreon. We also have exclusive series that are coming up on Patreon, which is Anime Watches on Wednesdays, and also a cosplay challenge, in which I use everyday objects to in order to cosplay as a certain character of your guys' choice. Be also sure to check out our Twitter and Instagram pages for more exclusive content we upload daily, whether it be on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, or even directly on Patreon. There's always stuff in store for you guys. But anyway, guys, you stay weird, you stay wonderful, and you stay awesome, my friends. And until the next video, embrace it a fangirl and in a fanboy every single day. Bye guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode. I really hope that you did enjoy it. And now is just a special time to give a shout out to our awesome and amazing patrons that you see that is listed on the screen right now. Honestly, we would not be able to create anything if it were not for you guys. You guys believe in the vision. You guys believe in this journey. And you guys not only just believe in the channel, but you believe in me. God bless you all for believing in this vision. And I hope you have an amazing day. If you guys want to become patrons and join me on this journey, the link is in the description down below, or you can click it on the screen right over there. Also, if you really did enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe. You could also click there with the cute little icon that's there as well. And if you want to check out more episodes, there should be a little box that's popped up right about now. Click on that and enjoy the ride. But as always, guys, until the next video, embrace your inner fangirl and your inner fanboy every single day. Bye, guys. <laughs>